So in this video, we are going to look at how to write a bestseller. There will be five tips, my favourite five tips for strengthening your work and really developing the potential for writing a bestseller. So if you want to know what those are and how I managed to write one, this is mine. Uh, the Witch's Daughter was a, a New York Times and a USA Today bestseller. Then stick around because I'm going to give you my five tips on how to write a bestseller. So the first tip is don't try. It's a big mistake to have that as your main focus. Yes, you do want to sell lots of books. Yes, you do want to reach as wide a readership as possible. Yes, we'd all like some success and fame and fortune. But while you are writing, you don't need to be thinking about that. Don't think about sales. Don't think about um, money. Don't think about anything except your book. When you're writing, you're immersed in the story world. You are involved with your characters. While you are writing is not the time to be marketing your book. So the first tip on how to write a bestseller is don't try. Okay, tip number one, don't try. Tip number two is write the book that you want to read. So you really need to think about when you go into a bookstore, um, what sort of books do you look for? When you are browsing an online bookshop, what categories do you look in? What snags your interest first off? If somebody suggests a book or recommends one, which are the books that make you go, oh, yeah, I really want to read that book. I'm really excited about it. That passion, that excitement for what you are writing will shine through your work. That is the most attractive thing you can do for your book, is to be passionate about it. If you want people to fall in love with your characters, you have to love them too. If you want people to get excited by your story, you have to be excited by it. So number two tip is write the story that you would like to read, okay? Uh, number three, and this is an important one and it's hard to resist, but here we go. Don't chase the market. It moves too fast. Um, from first word to launch of your book, even if you're a speedy writer, even if you have a super nimble publisher, it's unlikely to be less than two years. So just keep that in mind, okay? It's two years from first word to launch of your book, if everything goes smoothly. That bandwagon that you were hoping to jump on will be long gone over the horizon and disappeared, okay? So don't do it. Also, it's cynical. You know, that sort of writing is insincere and readers are smart and they will pick it up. So number three tip, don't chase the market. Okay. Number four is be professional. Um, a lot of people are going to be investing their time and money and energy into your book if it's going to be a bestseller. Um, and you need to show that you can be professional about your work. It's no good being all sort of artistic and missing deadlines. You need to be able to work with an editor to take on advice. You also need to be able to fight your corner too. That's a balance. We might look at that in another video. Um, but you need to be professional. And, you know, everybody from your editor, your publishing house, your marketing department, um, the bookstores that are going to stock your book, to the reader who's going to spend their hard-earned money on your book, they are all investing in it and they expect a level of professionalism in the way that you work and in what you produce. So my number four tip is be professional. Okay. The fifth thing, and this is another really important one, is keep going. Um, if you've watched my video on publishing The Witch's Daughter, you will know that this little book took a long time to get done. It wasn't the actual writing of the book, it was the nine years that went before it, before I had my first novel published. It was the fact that it was first picked up by a small publisher and that sold a few copies. And then it was picked up by a bigger publisher and then it was put out with a new title. We reworked it, um, had a different cover, different territory. And it was out for two years before it became a New York Times bestseller. You might find that the first book you write, even if you get it published, it isn't your bestseller. It's never wasted. Time spent writing is never, for a writer, wasted time. It is all honing your craft, practicing your skill, improving what you do. So it may be that 
The next book is going to be your bestseller and you won't know unless you keep trying. So the fifth tip is keep trying, okay? And we're going to look at videos about how other people have worked their lives around making those things happen, um, how you can strengthen your writing in more specific ways, like building your characters and things like that. We'll do other videos like that. But for now, if you just keep those five things really in mind when you're producing your work, they are going to strengthen the chances that that book is successful. Good luck.